Hi everyone, welcome back to Catherine's Plates. Today I want to show you how to make one of my favorite dishes. It's my family's all-time favorite too. It is a simple hamburger potato casserole, but it's so flavorful and so delicious. And you know it's going to be easy to make if it's coming from my kitchen. Okay, you guys, I found some potatoes in my freezer in a bag. I've got some stuff out of my pantry. Got some ground beef. We're going to put this all together in a casserole form. Oh, are you ready? It is the epitome of comfort food, which we need today because it is a very stormy day. Okay, guys, I'm going to start off by sauteing up some onions with my ground beef. We're going to go ahead and preheat our oven to 350 degrees. Okay, so I have a big skillet here sitting on medium high heat, and I'm just going to add about one tablespoon of butter. and just a little slurry of oil. What this will do is help soften up our onions here. Now I've already chopped up one small onion. Who doesn't like the sound of that? <laughs> All right, if you don't like onions in your ground beef, you don't have to put those in there. You can skip this step. I love the smell of it though. It smells so delicious when you're sauteing onion. Mmm, so delicious. Okay, I'm gonna saute these down for just one more minute and then I'm gonna add my ground beef in here. Okay, my onions are nice and soft. We're gonna go ahead now and add our ground beef. Now I've got about a pound and a half here. It's probably easier if I use my meat chopper on this. Okay, how many people use a meat chopper? It's really great for ground meat. Like ground beef, ground turkey, ground chicken, ground pork, you name it. Alright, what I'm going to do now is finish browning this meat up and then I'm going to bring you back. Okay, I got my meat all browned up and broken up into nice sized pieces here. Now we're going to add one can of cream of soup. Now I'm going to be doing a celery soup because we like the flavor of that. If you want to use cream of mushroom, that's totally fine also. So we'll go ahead and add that. We're going to make sure that we've seasoned up this meat really well. This is going to give the whole dish the flavor that it needs. All right, I got some beef broth here, so I'm going to fill up my can about halfway. Take a spoon here and just kind of stir that around so we get all that goodness out of the can. My oven is preheated now. <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and add that. All right, I'm going to add some garlic powder, about half a teaspoon or so. some pepper and I'm just going to add a pinch of salt right now and we'll check the flavoring here in a little bit and see if we need to add anything else okay let's combine this all together now what the soup is going to do is help thicken up our meat mixture and if you don't have cream of soup you can just make a roux and you can just use equal parts of butter and flour. I would say about three tablespoons of each and do that. Okay, this is smelling so delicious, you guys.
All right, I'm gonna go ahead now and turn off my burner. Now I'm gonna add some vegetables because that's how we like it. So I've just got some whole kernel corn. Now you can use frozen, you can put it out of a can. Just make sure you drain it. And I've got some frozen peas and carrots that I'm gonna put in. Okay, we'll take a look at that and see how we're doing. Mm. Doesn't that look good already? All right, I'm gonna give this a try and see where our seasonings stand. That is delicious. Okay guys, let's go ahead and build our casserole. Okay, that was the easy part. Here's another easy part. Now I am using some hash brown, the potatoes, not the shreds, but if you want to use the shreds, you can use the shreds, all right? No problem there. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your casserole dish, a 9 by 13, and we're going to just spray it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to layer my hash brown potatoes on the bottom, half of this meat mixture, half of my shredded cheddar cheese, another layer of potatoes, the rest of the meat mixture, and then another layer of cheddar cheese. Okay, guys, you ready for this one? Let's start doing this. Okay, what we're going to do now is cover this with some foil. Now, if you don't have the non-stick foil, you can just take your sheet and then just lightly spray the inside of your sheet there and then place it on your casserole dish. This will keep the cheese from sticking to it. All right. This is going to go in my preheated oven at 350 degrees for 45 minutes. I'm going to take the tin foil off of it, cook it an additional 15 minutes to get that cheese nice and ooey gooey with a nice brown on it. Okay guys, I'll see you in a little bit. Okay guys, what do you think of my potato ground beef casserole? You saw all the yumminess that went into here. Look at that. Okay, there's my bite. Mm. There's so many flavor profiles in there. It is so delicious very comforting for a rainy day today. Any day you can make this. And you saw the different variations that you can use when you make this. Okay, you guys, I've got people lined up behind the camera ready for their plate. So give me a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification so you'll know when my shows are posted. Okay, guys. I will see you on my next episode.